I now like to invite Luc Almond, Secretary General of the International Year of Basic Science for Sustainable Development, to introduce the symposium. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, good morning. On behalf of the steering committee of the International Year of Basic Sciences for Sustainable Development, that has been promulgated by the United Nations General Assembly and placed under the auspices of UNESCO, I particularly welcome this scientific symposium that follows the high-level summit of yesterday. Uh, the 2030 Agenda is an ambitious program to ensure balanced, sustainable and inclusive development of the planet. In this very context, the International Year of Basic Sciences for Sustainable Development is motivated by two main lines of action. Mobilizing scientists so that they fully engage their skills, talents, and energies for this agenda, even though they are developing basic sciences. The second is mobilizing citizens and policymakers so that they continue and even develop their support to basic sciences as a crucial way to reach, in a not too far future, we hope, a more sustainable development. So the International Year will close in six months with a ceremony at CERN, 15 December 2030, 2023, sorry. We must already now think about what will come next. <laughs> That's where the lapsus comes from. Uh, currently, the representative of several member states at the United Nations General Assembly are discussing the content of a resolution that would promulgate an international decade of sciences for sustainability. And the steering committee of the International Year, as well as over 100 national science academies, learned societies, scientific networks, support this initiative. So what could be the goals of a decade? It still has to be decided, but from what I heard yesterday, and I think we will discuss again today, I would like to give some indications about the kind of actions that should be in the program and no hierarchy intended in the, in, in the order. So funding programs for basic interdisciplinary research to fill knowledge gaps identified from SDGs. Engage a real dialogue with social research and scientific agendas everywhere in the world in a cooperative way that respects the need of the population and the countries and also contribute to the discussions that prepare already the United Nations program that will succeed the 2030 agenda and stand for the role of science in, in this new program. So we need to build a, a program that for the next decade that has precise goals and definite ways of implementation and that is why I strongly believe that the discussions that we will have here in the next two days are so important. So again, on behalf of the steering committee of the International Year, I thank you all for being here. Thank you for your attention.